Hello guys and welcome back to the 16th part of how to make a battlegrounds game. So in today's part we will actually make the kills counts that you do because right now it just does nothing as you can see when I let me just switch my character over to the sword master because we have way more abilities here. Uh, so yeah because basically nothing is counting. Okay this is also a bit buggy. But uh, yeah, so right now when I just kill dummy, of course the dummies, they won't count towards kills, but we will just, yeah, make the kills count basically. And that's pretty much it for today. So let's get right into it. So what we want to do is we basically want to do is... We want to create some values or some attributes. So let's get here and get some attributes and name this last hit by this is a string. So, and then we want to go to the server and make an attribute for the player. Player set attributes last hit by and then do this um, let's do let's send this to the character actually so we should the character set a good last hit by we set it just to nothing currently so now that we got this what we want to do is we want to go to also the sub I think let's check where we Get the event so we do abilities here we do knockback here we do apply damage here but yeah essentially we just want to insert a script into our star player let's get a local script and this then it's died and then let's do local player is equal to player sub local player local character equal to player dot character or player dot character edit and then we want to wait and then we do local zoom a bit in a okay so local hume is equal to character called find push child of class and then we want to search by humanoid and then if humanoid then humanoid dot died connect function and this is yeah this just gives us nothing so we do local last hit by is equal to character call find first child or find first child get attribute and then we do last hit by and then if last hit by isn't equal to nothing then uh, we just do yeah that's pretty much everything that we need and then yeah we can do this so we get the player that um, took us out by the last hit by which is basically the player's name and if we do this then we want to make a new remote event so we want to go here Remotes, duplicate something and just name it awards uh, takedown. So I'm just name it award takedown and then we do replicate storage. Web chat awards take or yeah, remotes. Do we have a remote thing? No. Okay, then I would just scroll up and define the remote event. Copy this. And then we want to do a word takedown. Copy it, go all the way down. And then do a word takedown dot on servant call connect function player. And then we want to do player to awards to. And then if player and player to award to. 
then player to award to dot leader stats and then let me see whether we get it so the server on the leader sets this is just in the leader sets okay so leader sets the value plus equal one and we should do local profile is equal to data manager dot profiles and pass through the player to what to and then if profile then we should do profile data you see how i saved it okay lowercase and then we just do here plus one we also want to do this for the total total so let's get the total two and let's just paste it here and yeah then we just set this to this oh uh, wait i think we don't even need this yeah we don't even need this so you can also delete this from the template and go here and just put a zero here because we don't need to save this because it's just temporary this is actually what gets saved so yeah and then we can just do this plus one and this yeah we want to save it so we also want to award this to the player so we want to go here and let's see how we saved it it's like this let me copy it and let me go here and then we do this okay i forgot i got these already and then we want to set this to this let's see to this yeah and now uh let's see if we got it so then let me think so this is basically for the character we want to do with the storage we have child remotes and then we have child award takedown and fire the server and then we want to fire it and then yeah like this now we need to get the like same function in the dummy so you can just copy this whole script and just put it in a dummy just for testing purposes so this won't be needed inside a dummy but actually we can test it with with the no we can't since profile service checks if the id is if they have a valid user id it just won't be all of that oh i don't know let me let me okay i'm gonna just try so let me try this out okay so let's try it out let me just close up all the stuff we don't need Here's the first one. Okay. I got it. So let me just put it like this. And then this like here. Okay, so now we got the two accounts ready to do. So why don't you see it? Oh yeah, I see. Okay, so now we got the two accounts and yeah let's move them all a bit over here and let's see if we got any errors which we don't okay this is very good so i'm gonna keep this opened here and 
let me actually open the top list, which I can't do for some reason. Oh yeah, since it's not loading them in. Okay, so I can't do it this way. So yeah, we have to test it on dummies. But that's okay. So... Okay, so let me try this out. So inside the dummy, we basically want to do the same script. So let's create a script, this time not a local script. And then we want to remove the player because we don't have it. We want to remove the character. And the humanoid is just script.parent called package child humanoid. Now we have the humanoid. And then last step by is just humanoid.parent get attributes last hit by. Just like this. And then the last hit by. If it isn't equal, then we just get it by the name. Um, and yeah, so that's basically it. So then what we want to do is we want to actually get the last hit by. And this is pretty... Well, we have to kind of check through everything. So for now, I'm going to just add it to M once. So if I get the M1, so let me see where we have it. Where do we have the M1? Let me see in the input. So in the input, we got underscore inputs. First the hit events. Okay, first the hit events. So this is good. And then we can just check for the hit events down here. Let me see what the, here's the hit. And I think the hit is the hit event. Yes, it's remote hit. And when we check here, the hit event is also the hit. So yeah, we can use this. Let's go back to our position and then what we want to do is we want to go here and set the enemy character or oh, we should do wait are we applying it oh yeah we are applying it to the character Con gets or oh, we should set attributes last hit by we set it to the player.name. So yeah, let's try it out. So when we technically hit the dummy now, it should set the attribute of the dummy. So let's keep an eye on this. And yeah, it sets it to my name, which is very good. So now technically when I kill the dummy, it should technically give me my awards which it doesn't let me see if we got any errors best server can only be called from the client of course i missed this so what we actually want to do here is we can just do a double fire for now or we can just do it manually i think so let's go to the server Let's go down here and we can just copy this. Just copy it and go back to the script here and then just cut this out and paste it here. And then we want to get the data manager. So let's do this right away. Let's get the data manager, which is up here. Copy it and just paste it up here. Get the service group service. And then you clear it to what to. It's just this one here. And then we set it like here. So now we can actually trace out. So let's get it. Let me select this dummy first so we can actually see. And yeah, so it gets my name. 
and just perform a kick. Okay, we actually got some more right now. So we need to kind of debounce this. So we got five right now. I don't know why. But let me just print true here so we know what's wrong. If it just fires some more times, or what's the problem? It prints through three times. Okay. So we need to debounce this. We don't want it to happen like this. Um, since this isn't a repeatable action, like you can't kill anyone in any second. So what we want to do is we want to get a debounce in there. So local db is equal to one. And then what we want to do, uh, to do if not db then db is equal to true or we can just do if db is equal to false then then we just want to cut this out place it here go there and then set this to false and then go down here and do task dot Delay one comma function and then we do db is equal to false. Yeah, and this is basically it. So yeah, for players this will work like normally. But yeah, now we can award takedowns to players. And yeah, this is pretty much it. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.